January of a brand new year, and it's time that you see things on TV all the time for diets or workout regimens. Magazines and books are talking about it. What should you do? What promises should you make to foil the fat? Despite many of the promises, many of those diets simply are fads and soon to be replaced by the very next new thing. The question is, how can you tell if a diet's going to work for you or if it is one of those passing fancies? Here to help sort that out for us on Pittsburgh Today Live, contributor Dr. Will Clower, Mediterranean Wellness. Doctor, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Happy New Year. Thank you. We're glad that you're here. Thank I look you. forward to having Thank you, you here Absolutely. on a regular basis coming up this year. Yep. I know oftentimes if you walk into a bookstore, you walk down through Barnes & Noble, you go online, right. Amazon.com, right. you key in diet or you it's key in fitness, everywhere. you'll read for a month and a half oh and never gosh. get to the bottom of the That's list. That's right. That's right. So and how do you pick? And every year it's a new thing. Mm -hmm. It's a mess because mm -hmm. we've just gone through the dietary gauntlet from November to New Year's and now people are sort of paying for their sins and the past, the weight gain. And so right. what they do is they, they go to the next fad diet mm -hmm. and the data are pretty depressing. 92% of Americans will fail on their diet. 20% uh, of them will fail by next week. By the end of January, it's 30% and by Memorial Day, 80% are off right. because the fad diet approaches are unsustainable. They don't work. And the issue is we have seen the data that you're talking yeah. about. And sometimes it goes back to the old adage that mom taught you years ago. If it yeah. seems too good to be true, then it is. It probably it is. is. And we know that they're fad diets because they, by definition, they come they're around for a while and then they fail. But what we really need every year is a sort of a principles driven approach where we can say, these are the characteristics of a fad diet and this year I'm not gonna go for it. I'm not gonna bite. Help me understand, what okay. are some of them? So one of the principles is that uh, the unsustainability comes from the fact that they're overly restrictive, telling you exactly how many molecules of fats or carbs or proteins to eat when exactly to eat them, how exactly to eat them, those are the things that make it unsustainable. You can't keep up with it because it's hard to remember or you don't understand exactly what the, the, the reasoning is. Yeah, exactly. Or if they're overly restrictive, saying you can't eat an entire class of foods, then sooner or later you're off that diet. And at some point your body craves those things in, in some way, shape, or form, right? That's You'd exactly right. You say you can't right. have carbs, your body feels like it needs to have carbohydrates. Exactly, and sometimes the, the fad diet approaches are, um, they, they make you remember too many things, like you have to be an actuarial table, mm -hmm. CPA of food or something, right. food Nazi around your food, and you know, for me and you and my mom, for normal people, yeah. we have so much going on in our lives that it's hard to keep up with that every, every, every day, so you do it and then you fall off. Got it. You brought some things with you this morning. What'd you bring along? Well, these are some ex specific examples of things I wanna, I wanna talk about. When you are looking at diets that restrict fats or carbs or proteins mm -hmm. in some specific way, this is something that you should avoid. So butter is one of those things that if you're trying to cut down on fat is a good way to cut back. Well, if, um, if you want to micromanage your fats, you can. W uh, an, an important point to make is that no healthy culture on earth does that. Nobody but us, mm. the fat people, right. right? Nobody does that. Nobody restricts their carbs. What they do is they have a series of behaviors that do that for them. So they don't have to keep anything in their heads. When you ask Italian Italians or French French, you know, mm -hmm. if you ask them, what are you doing? What is your diet? They'll say, I'm not on a diet. I'm just living my life because their behaviors control their portions for them. So it's a behavior modification more so than it's a dietary That's modification. That's what we have to look for exactly because the behavior modification will last beyond the tenure of the diet. That's important. Another thing that people lurch for in the new year are pill related things. Huh. You know, they, they go for the dietary supplements the dietary pills, the powders, the creams, the magic formulas, right. because they feel like they, um, if, if they take one of these every day, like the ads say, then suddenly everything will be wonderful. And all this does is create a culture of dependency around a product. If you're dependent on the, the prepackaged foods or the pill or the, the prosthetic for your mouth, mm -hmm. whatever it is, 
then once that's gone, you're off. So what and you're saying is Then you're going to cycle back to your old ways, and, and you're going to be one of those statistics, that 92% that fail. And so you're saying that when you lather your popcorn with butter, that pill's not going to change it. <laughs> no, absolutely there's not. no such thing not, as a magic collection. Not at all. all right. And there's a lot of uh, wacky things that you should look for as well. And we have some of the, the photos of those that, that are just crazy. This is one of the things that have been around for uh, the butt jigglers. Right. My mother had one of these. Is that right? Yeah, I remember those. And it's supposed to do, the theory is that it's supposed to lose up your your fat so that you can resorb it there are various mouth guards and mouth prosthetics that are supposed to uh, limit your consumption this is amazing tapeworms tapeworms absolutely eat 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 you can eat all you want and still stay stay thin the interesting thing about that the tapeworm diet is that uh, if you just took out the tapeworm part you could take the messaging and you could apply it to any diet you want it's you could apply it thing. to yeah Right. Eat all you want, no yeah. work on your part, you'll lose weight anyway. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. A pleasure. Great Thank to you, see you so much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Dr. Will Clow, we're talking about some of the incredible things that are out there right now. You can find out more about it on his website. It's right here on Pittsburgh Today Live. We've got a link to it for you. He's a regular contributor here every other Monday.